Hey guys, what's up? Holder Heck back with another video. I had a couple in the pipeline. I wanted to talk about my favorite BOE weapon in the game, the Brain Hacker. I wanted to talk about, you know, maybe a molten core boss by boss DPS breakdown. But you know what? With PvP coming out, I feel like I gotta make another PvP video. And specifically, I want to make a video talking about the honor system and how to properly game the honor system so you get as much honor as possible in phase two without battlegrounds. I think people have been... Like, I, I hear stuff every day about how people think they're going to farm honor and how people think this PvP phase is going to work. And I'd say 90% of them are completely wrong and, and, and just they lack the experience of vanilla and they lack the experience of having been there and done that to understand exactly how this is going to play out. Back in vanilla, I got rank 14. I did it partially before Battlegrounds came out, and I did the rest of it after Battlegrounds came out, and I can tell you exactly how this is gonna play out, okay? So sit back, relax, pour yourself a cup of hot chocolate, make some tendies, wrap yourself in a blanket, cause we're gonna go neat here and explain how you are going to try to get rank 14. Or maybe if you're just slightly more sane, 10 or 11 for the full blue set and the mount. So the first thing I want to get into is just a brief general explanation of how this PvP system works. I know a lot of people weren't around when this thing was released, and it is a completely different way to PvP than most of us are used to. But essentially, this entire system was just set up for you to go on mass murdering killing sprees of the opposite faction. The real only way to rank up in this system is to just endlessly kill the opposite faction from the moment you wake up in the morning till never sleeping for three months and then eventually you might hit rank 13 or 14. There is no other way to do it really. You could I believe in vanilla it was possible to maybe 5 to 10 man the city leaders and they are worth a decent chunk of honor. I am not sure if that is still implemented in this version of Classic, but I do remember that being a thing. Beyond that, you're just gonna group up and kill people all day long. Now, there are big misconceptions as to what is an HK or honor kill that gives you honor points and what is a DK or dishonorable kill that totally screws up your honor game. Honorable kills are when you kill any member of the opposing faction who is at least green to you in like challenge rating. So I believe if you're level 60, that's anybody who's level 48 and above yields honor. Obviously, you get less honor the lower the level they are. And if they are gray to you, if they're level 47 or under, you get absolutely no honor for killing them. But they are also not a dishonorable kill. People are super worried about dishonorable kills, as you should be, because they will totally screw up your honor gain. But the only things that will give you dishonorable kills are killing specific quest NPCs, typically in lower level areas that are like boldly marked civilian. You have to kind of go out of your way to kill these civilians. And if my memory serves me correctly, they do not aggro. So you have to actually attack them. Now, if you're in a giant raid group, and somebody in that raid group kills that civilian and you have healed them or buffed them, 
there's a very good chance that you will also get a dishonorable kill. So I will say moving forward, do not group with a bunch of people you don't know in the new PvP system. Because the chances of one of them killing a civilian is really too great to take, especially if you're going to be primarily PvPing in Hillsbrad Foothills, which is where I truly believe 80 to 90 percent of the large scale group PvP in phase two is going to happen. Okay? So let's talk about that now. Let's talk about how this Zerg versus Zerg is going to work, where it's going to happen, and maybe how you should be prepared for it. Just going off of personal experience and having been there and done that and grinding partially to High Warlord before there were battlegrounds, I can tell you the field in between South Shore and Tarn Mill is going to be an absolute meat grinder death trap of honor farming for the next, I don't know how long this, this phase is going to last, couple of months. Now, there are going to be other zones where PvP is going to be more or less endless, but the one I think most people are going to grind their ranks in is going to be the Hillsbrad Foothills and that field in between the two cities. Now, like I said before, with the dishonorable kills, both Tarin Mill and South Shore have civilians in them. And when PvP initially launched in WoW, civilians weren't a thing. So people typically pushed into each city back and forth, killing all the quest mobs and killing everybody in there and camping the flight path. But I feel like now that's simply not going to happen. Or if it does, as soon as people see that first DK like pop up across their screen, they're gonna be really, really, really upset and start screaming at everyone to stop pushing into the city. So that means essentially the honor farm in this version of WoW, in this, you know, specific PvP launch is actually going to be even better than it was initially because when that was launched before, people didn't really think in a meta fashion. They're just like, we're gonna kill everybody. We're gonna camp their flight master. No one's gonna be able to fight us. And that's great and that feels good. But what that essentially means is now you're not getting honor anymore. So the most meta best honor farm thing to do is to fight in the middle of the field and you push each other back and forth close to the town killing during pushes then coming back killing during pushes then coming back and so both sides are essentially getting endless honor and when you think about it that way that's the best possible solution for the rank grind especially in like the first few ranks where people could end up after literally week one in the middle of rank four. So, inefficient and efficient, not inefficient, and efficient way to do this is going to be your best bet because you don't just want to be roaming around mindlessly killing random people you come across or you're going to end up as like rank one in week two when other people already have access to rank four rewards okay you don't want to be that guy so we got to do this as smart as possible and a final thing to touch on when you are grouped up with people and you are playing with other people in these large scale engagements anybody that you buff or heal in that group if they go and kill somebody you are then given the honor as well from the person they kill. So if you have the ability to buff your group and do damage, 
Or, if you're a shaman, you can heal your group and then throw some chain lightnings or throw a magma totem. For example, you're going to be getting honor kills for every person your group kills, and you're going to be getting honor kills if you heal somebody in your group and they kill somebody. So just remember, it's not a zero-sum game. The more people you help and the more people they kill, you are then given honor kills for that. So that's basically it for Tarin Mill and Hillsbrad and South Shore. I will say that the two major configurations you're going to have in this whole PvP scenario is going to be like small three to five man hit squads roaming around on the outside picking off stragglers and then the huge Zerg versus Zerg. But I cannot stress enough do not group with random people because the chances of somebody in a 40-man raid accidentally killing one of the civilians in South Shore is above 0.0001% and that is too high. There is a civilian that stands like directly outside the graveyard in South Shore and if your Zerg pushes into that town everybody in the zerg is screwed okay so only group up with people you know and trust and don't kill civilians <laughs> don't ever 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 kill civilians and i'm just gonna briefly touch on some other zones where pvp is going to be inevitable and crazy um the biggest of which is going to be black rock mountain you're going to see Raid groups running into each other and fighting each other non-stop. Like, it's going to be like piles of skeletons in Black Rock Mountain. You absolutely need to level some form of engineering so you can have like sapper charges or stun bombs or something so you can survive and perhaps win these 40 on 40 actual confrontations you got to think of it like a mini battleground it's the battleground of who can get into their raid with as many of their buffs left other than that you have the obvious candidates like ratchet and booty bay and gadget zan and to a lesser degree everlook anywhere where the alliance and the horde just traditionally bump into each other more or less every day are just going to become places that you should probably be aware that you're going to be attacked. Last thing I want to talk about for this Phase 2 PvP video doesn't really have anything to do with honor grinding, but it does have to do with the world bosses and the PvP that comes with those world bosses. Now, I don't know who you have on your server or how try-hard the guilds are, but I specifically know we have some guilds on our server where every single member of the guild has, like, a warlock alt, and every member of the guild also has, like, full engineering, so they have full stun bombs, they can summon the whole raid at will at any point. Now, competing for these world bosses is going to be extremely difficult, and I'll leave that up to you and your guild. But, that is going to make these zones basically war zones non-stop. Because people are going to always be there, whether they're on their alts or on their mains, scouting for these world bosses. So Ashara and the Blasted Lands are not going to be friendly for farming anymore. Like, you could still try, but it's really not going to be great for you. So it's just another thing to kind of be aware of moving into Phase 2. You're going to probably want to find different places to farm. And that specifically hurts um, Demonic Rune farming, Felcloth farming in Ashara, Fishing in Ashara, Golden Pearl farming in Ashara. And then the Blasted Lands, you have all those buffs the Blood Elves give you, so... It's going to be difficult, but I believe in you. That will be it for my Phase 2 um, Honor Farm Guide. I guess 2.0. I thought that I kind of covered this in my Elemental Farming Guide, but that was really more of a uh, gearing guide, and I didn't really go over tactics. I felt like in that video, I, I took for granted the things that I know, and expected everyone to know that, and then I realized, um, not everybody played vanilla. 
back in 2004 and 5. So these are things that maybe people don't know. So I just wanted to go into more detail and kind of help people understand um, just the, the various intricacies of this uh, primitive PvP system, okay? So I hope it helped. If you have any other questions or comments or whatever, leave them in the, you know, comments below. Because that's what it's for. Um, I really hope you like my content. If you do, please subscribe. Please hit the bell. If you just subscribe, you're not really notified when I release videos. If you hit the bell, you are. So if you want more of my videos and more of my content, make sure you do both of those things. And please follow me on Twitch. I actually have a set in stone more or less streaming schedule now i'll be streaming sunday nights that's when my guild raids for right now and then uh wednesdays and fridays uh typically nights around six or seven ish pacific standard time that's usually when i can get off work and start streaming so i got about three days a week right now might do like a fourth bonus day at some point but anyway twitch.tv slash the holder heck i just got an eye of sulfurous so that's going to be super fun. Um, hopefully I can get that hammer made before, you know, PvP releases in a week. I got a couple other guys on my server. We're going to roam around in a group of people with hand or rag and just delete the alliance. It's going to be fantastic. So I hope you guys can join me for that on the Twitch stream. Um, other than that, hope you enjoyed the video again. And I'll talk to everybody later. Bye bye